Hi, welcome to this video on uh, some basic transformer ratings. Now, um, if you're here, you're looking for information about transformers, so take a look at the description below where I've got a link to a playlist where I'm gonna have all of my transformers videos, single phase, three phase, a bunch of different tests and ratings. So check that out. But this video here, we're really just gonna dive into the real basics of a single phase transformer, right? What do some of the labels mean? What do some of the ratings mean? How do I calculate some of the really important stuff? Uh, step up versus step down, uh, primary versus secondary, what do all those mean? So starting off with a single phase transformer, I've got two windings, right? Two windings, copper wire wrapped around a common core. Now when you look at these windings, you look at the transformer, there's gonna be some labels on it. One of the windings is gonna be labeled with H's. The other winding is going to be labeled with X's. Well, what does that mean? Well, what it means is that H winding will have a higher voltage rating than the X winding. The H winding is a higher voltage rating. The X winding is a lower voltage rating. They're also going to have numbers because each terminal is going to be identified. Now, H1 will typically be in the top left when you're looking at a drawing. The other side of that winding is H2. If it's a multi-winding transformer, where it has multi windings on the high side, it'll be H1 through four or th six or whatever it is. Down lower, we're gonna have X1 and X2. And often you'll actually see them in the opposite corners, just like that. And there's a reason for that, which you can check out the video up above and it'll explain why that is. And it has to do with the polarity of the windings. Not too important right now. So that's our transformer. We've got H windings, we've got X windings. Let's say we just said, you know, we said our H's is for high voltage and our X's is for low voltage. So let's say this transformer is a 600 volt winding up here and a 240 volt winding down there. Awesome. Now, when I'm using this transformer, there's something cool I can do. If I were to apply a source of 240 volts down here, I would get 600, volt, 600 volts up here. That would be considered a step up transformer. I'm taking the voltage from 240 volts to 600 volts. That would be a step up transformer. I can also do the alternate, alternate, alternative. I can apply a 600 volt source to the top, apply 600 volts and I get a 240 volt load basically. That would be a step down transformer. So I can do for either. Now, wherever I apply the source, and for our example here, we're gonna apply our source voltage 600 volts up here. Wherever I apply the source, that becomes what we call the primary. The primary winding is the one where you connect the source. The secondary winding is the one where you connect the load. Right, so my primary winding is up here. My primary voltage is 600 volts. My secondary voltage is 240 volts. This is a step down transformer. Now, let's get into some of the ratings. So when we're talking about ratings, well, transformers are all gonna have a name plate. The name plate is gonna have things on it. It's definitely gonna have the, the VA, right? Or the apparent power of that transformer. It's gonna have the volts. And beyond that, it could have any number of things, right? It's not uncommon to see uh, frequency, the temperature rise from no load to full load, uh, something called percent impedance or percent IZ. Uh, what is the insulator inside? Is there some type of oil? What type of insulation? A serial number? Part number? Is it single phase, three phase? Some of them will have a connection diagram. What you often do not see though is a current rating. I want to talk about how to calculate the current rating because that's very important whenever we're dealing with any transformers. So for this transformer right here, let's say it is a 9K VA transformer or 9,000 volt amps. I wanna calculate current. Let's start with the primary. So I have the primary, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my apparent power formula. We know that S equals E times I. I'm gonna take that formula and I'm gonna transpose it. So I'm gonna take my apparent power divided by my voltage. So on my primary side, I've got 600 volts 
9,000 volt amps, 9,000 VA. So I'm going to go uh, 9,000 VA divided by 600 volts. That's going to give me 15 amps. So my I have my primary, my primary current up here is 15 amps. Awesome. I do the exact same thing with my secondary. I know that in a transformer, and this is just for basic calculations, my KVA on the primary is the same as my KVA on my secondary. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I secondary equals 9,000 VA divided by 240 volts, which gives us 37.5 amps. Awesome. So that will be my secondary current, 37.5 amps. Beautiful. So that's my rated current. So at full load, that's what current will be drawn, right? And that calculating that value is very important, whether you're calculating anything, really, your short circuit current, um, overcurrent devices, things like that, conductor sizes, it can come into play very much so. The last thing I want to talk about is some of the ratios that we see here. So we said we are a 600 to 240 volt transformer. Well, if I go 600 divided by 240, that would give me my voltage ratio. My voltage ratio here would be 2.5 to 1. That's my voltage ratio, 2.5 to 1. My current ratio should always be the opposite of that. Okay, so in this case, my current ratio, I would go uh, 37.5 divided by 15, or 15 divided by 37.5, but that would actually give me a 1 to 2.5 ratio. Now, those two ratios matching up like that, we discuss in another video as well, but that's what you'll see. You'll see your current and voltage ratios are actually opposite. But when I go down here, 37.5 times 240, I get my 9,000 VA. Same up here, 15 amps times 600 volts gives me my 9,000 VA. So that really isn't too big of a difference. Um, so I hope, you came, or I hope you got what you came to this video for. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some of my other videos where I get way more in depth into different things that I mentioned here in this video. Uh, have a great day.